Hey guys. Um, I know I said YouTube live 1 to 145. Um, I was a little later getting on than I usually am just because I was trying to finish up lunch with my kids. <sighs> because, you know, tea perfectly fine. It says my connection is a little unstable. Um, so we'll give just a couple minutes for some more people to log on and me to kind of get set up, okay? Hi. Hey, Zeta. Hi, Kaylee. Oh, good. Kaylee, it was a really good start, and I actually really liked what you did. Um, it was just there was a couple numbers that were wrong. Hey, Brooklyn. I miss you guys, too. Ugh, I can't see very well. <clears throat> um, all right. So this first part of this video is a little more for my eighth grade just to kind of answer some questions. Sorry, there's like a truck now at UPS um, to answer any questions they have about electron energy levels. I can't even talk anymore. Where did I have pizza in my teeth? Um, so I'll just do it for everybody. Eighth grade's talking about the a level of electrons that are in an atom. So you had six, remember? Okay, so we had the six in the center. You had, this is the nucleus. Closer around them. Then we had the first level of energy. And then we had the second level of energy. And the one that I was showing you. So was anybody able to get this answer? What atom is it? So it's, obviously you can see it's atomic number three. how many Jeopardy music to play for you. <laughs> um, remember, these, I know these are kind of all over the place. They're not required. Um, we're going to start doing Zoom um, or doing something where we can have live classes. I know Miss Garen has been working on them. Um, Mr. Laser and I were supposed to kind of take a different route and see if something different worked better for us. Um, so him and I were doing YouTube and doing YouTube Live where we just see kind of your comments. <clears throat> but unfortunately we can't see you necessarily. Um, if you're really stuck on something, you can email me and you can email me a number and I can either call you or I can, um, we can set up a zoom for anybody that's having a real struggle, a real struggle session. Um, but anyway, this is what you guys did. So you remember when we talked about electrons and their levels of energy, this one has two levels of energy. This one on the outside is going to have the most energy. It's moving the fastest and needs the most room to move as compared to the two in the center. The first level is always going to have two electrons. So every atom, no matter what kind it is, always has two in this first one. Okay. Hi, Kelsey. <clears throat> okay. So um, there's a few more of you on now. Are there any like specific questions that you have about anything up to this point. All I've got is this little kindergarten whiteboard that I can use sitting out here because my big whiteboard, um, my sister, total backstory that doesn't matter to you or apply at all. Um, my sister is home and she is, um, she's an editor. And so she's using my office to edit. So I would rather not stand in there and try to do a live video and talk because she's trying to concentrate and do her work in my office. I'm good. I miss everybody. My kids miss school a lot. Um, however, we are spending a ton of time. As you can see, this is my porch. Um, ah, sorry if this, we're spending a ton of time outside, um, getting some vitamin D and some fresh air and going for walks. I did everything on my bucket list that I posted. 
Um, yep, I did all of it. So <clears throat> is there anybody that needs help with anything? Because that's really what my goal is with these is to make sure I can answer some questions, even if they're tech related and not necessarily like science related. I am not the tech person. I have have been 100% honest. I usually run it by Mr. Laser. <clears throat> I keep hearing something. Okay. So Kelsey, we've already kind of talked about that, um, about zoom and I haven't been using it, um, for some specific reasons. Cause not everybody seems to be able to access at the same time. Um, and they're also having some security issues still. I know some other teachers have started using it. However, I'm not ready to make that switch yet. Um, because the time that I that I ask to use it conflicts with some of the other teachers as well. So um, I probably will, but not quite yet. That's why I've been doing these instead. Um, Zeta, if you go look on your calendar, if it doesn't say anything about a science test, then... Um, Um, if it doesn't say anything about a science test on your calendar, then you don't have one coming up. It's, they're all on that calendar that's posted on the homework site or posted on, um, Edmodo. I'm sorry. You say hi to everybody. Hi. We're live. <laughs> okay. Um, so answering that question, the next science test, um, that'll be on your calendar. I put it in bold letters and I put stars before and after it for every grade. Um, I don't know. I haven't checked to see any of the submitted projects. I've just been monitoring comments this morning. Um, Brooklyn, how can you tell how many electrons and protons and neutrons go into an atom? Um, so remember the atomic number equals the amount of the subatomic particles. So if I have, if the atomic number is 11, an atom will have 11 neutrons, 11 protons, and 11 electrons. So the atomic number is going to equal the amount of the subatomic particles as long as the atom is neutral. So unless it's an ion, which means the number of neutrons changed, um, if it's a cation or an anion, it means the number of electrons changed. But if something is neutral, the atomic number equals the same number as the subatomic particles. So if something was 11, it would have 11 electrons, 11 neutrons, 11, oh, excuse me, protons. So if something's neutral, this the <clears throat> atomic number equals the same as the three subatomic particles. That makes sense. Um, I'm trying to let me look at something. Okay. <laughs> um, so if you were in seventh grade, which I don't see any of my seventh graders actually logged on here, um, you guys were working on the water cycle. You were doing that really basic experiment. Um, what I'm going to say about it before I do anything else, um, I posted a video yesterday. This, this was us checking it this morning. I don't know if you can see that. This was us checking it this morning. There was very little water that had evaporated into the cup. So basically what you were watching was the process of the water being heated up and then it was condensating and then it was precipitating because it was entering the, the other jar because it gathering on the top plastic of the container. Um, I can't remember. There was something else. Um, so please, what I did today was a little bit different. I posted an agenda for you guys and said, I haven't done that yet, um, but I posted an agenda and said, this is what you need to do and get done today. Um, if that helped, please go like that post so that I know that that was something helpful for you um, and that it made it easier for you to understand what you needed to get done today. Because I've been getting a lot of messages um, 
Zeta, did you mean, mean to resend that question or were you asking it again? Um, go like that post so that I know that you got it and that you um, kind of saw it, if it was helpful. If it was not helpful, then just ignore it. Um, I was trying to just do something a little bit different. So because I keep getting a lot of people messaging me going, did I finish everything today? Um, and if you're sticking with your calendar, um, you should be fine and you should be getting anything, everything. Um, you're going to notice the dates in Edmodo are usually a couple days beyond when I say it's actually due. And that's because I'm just trying to make sure the assignments don't lock because I loaded all of them um, the Sunday before we started last week. So the Sunday right after spring break, I started loading into Edmodo and loading your projects. And I set these due dates and um, I tried to extend their deadlines and it won't actually let me unlock the assignment unless I erase it and start over. You're going to hear my kids kind of constantly in the background because they're, this is their like riding bikes playtime. And I apologize for that. Yes. You're okay. What happened? When one was talking on phone. Um, hey Kayla, I'm so glad you're on. Um, I think I saw yours. However, yesterday, um, I had 108 project submissions all within the, like between two and seven. So at about 1145, I quit going and trying to grade assignments. So if yours doesn't have a grade, I might not have looked at it yet. It's been really hard to find this balance between like school and home. Um, it's been very odd. So that was one of the things I told Mr. Laser that I hadn't actually talked about. Um, my hours of availability. So like when you message me, Hey, will, um, how quickly will I reply to things? Um, if it's between the hours of eight and three, which is like our normal school hours, I will, I should reply to you almost instant. Um, I try to, how, like I said, I, sometimes you end up with like a ton of notifications and I try really hard to keep up with them, but it doesn't always work. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't post any April Fools and M for any group except seventh grade. And that was just because that was my kid's silly idea. So they, I didn't get to do it for anybody else yet. Um, but if you reply, if you message me between the hours of eight and three, I'm trying to keep up with them. If you're having a real crisis situation and like you absolutely can't figure something out, the best way to get a hold of me for that is to email me and then just email me a phone number and I can actually call you. Um, that seems to have been easier and more helpful for most of the people that have been having any type of struggling is for me to just call them. I am not a tech person per se, but um, I've tried to talk through the steps of anything that needed to be fixed. If you're still having a really hard, which, so between eight and three, you can get a hold of me really quickly between three and five. Um, I'm usually a little slower to respond because I'm trying to like cook dinner and do homework with my kids. Cause we kind of broke up. They, my kindergartner has school like every 20 minutes, every two hours kind of a thing. Like I do a weird schedule with him. Um, so three and five, I'm a little less likely to respond, but I'll still kind of look at it. And then anything after seven, I'm generally not looking at until the next morning. Um, there are some occasions where I do, but assume that if you really need help with something, don't wait until after seven o'clock to message me. Um, try to do it earlier if you can. I know some of you don't have internet access earlier and some of you are not getting on until later in the evening, but try to, if you can, uh, there was something else. There was so much. Oh, connect ed. Um, so if you're having issues with connect ed, <clears throat> so let's talk this. If you're having issues with connect ed, the first thing you do, um, is you, log on to the site. You have something called my programs, my programs, and then you click ebook. Okay. So it's kind of a green button that's off to the right hand side is how it looks on my screen, which should be pretty much the same as yours. Um, but you're going to go click ebook. If you have yet to do that, I need to know by like Friday like Friday morning. Um, because if it's not working for you, um, Ms. Schmidt and Mr. Bossel have approved us to go ahead and, excuse me, let you pick up a textbook 
because we can't have you just not logging in and getting them. If the app works, Kayla, um, and it's been working fine for you, just keep using that. Um, because we don't have quite enough textbooks for everybody anyway. So if it works for you, that's perfect. Um, I've used it on my iPad and I've used it on my computer. It does not work on your phone very well. Um, I was able to like get it and open the programs, but it didn't let me open the ebook because of it being like a pop-up kind of a thing. So Mr. Laser said his is the same way that it doesn't work on a phone. So if you're having some issues with it, you might want to try logging into a computer or an iPad. But if that, if you have no option and nothing is working, please send me an email and let me know. And I will make sure I have a textbook set out for you Friday to pick up because you need to be able to access your textbook somehow. So are there any specific science related, like your topic related questions? Um, eighth grade, this is kind of your opportunity because you have a quiz on Friday of 10 questions. Um, seventh grade doesn't have one until next Wednesday. And then sixth grade, I don't even know that I put one on your calendar um, because it was only to April 15th. But I think that there is one. Um, it was supposed to be when we came back. So I think it's going to probably be that last week in April is when yours would actually be scheduled. But um, I don't think I have another live session tomorrow unless eighth grade really needs it. But so far, I haven't been getting a lot of questions about anything <clears throat> um, from anybody. So I'm assuming that everything's making sense and that you're getting it. There's no pictures of atomic numbers on it. Um, what it does include is it does include subatomic particles. It does include, include charge of the subatomic particles. It does include um, um, so it includes those types of things, and then it also includes um, very basic. I kept it just to just to atoms. Um, I didn't expand it beyond that. Um, Kayla, so. Manatee County Schools, like the public schools, said they were not going to have school until May. Um, they were going to stay closed until May 1st. Um, Mr. Bustle has not sent out anything confirming that we're doing that at PCS, but we usually do what the school district does. I don't want to assume and say that you're not or that you are when I haven't actually heard official word from our principal. Um but he, we usually do what the school district does. So my guess would be that. But again, I don't really know because Mr. Bustle hasn't said anything official to the parents or anybody. I'm sure they will by the time we do pick up on Friday for packets. I'm, I'm thinking, which made me, I told Ms. Broxton I was so sad because then that means we won't have seen you guys since the second week in March. So we're like, we're going to go on like almost two months. I'm like, that's going to be almost as long as summer is kind of crazy. Oh, good. Kelsey, I'm so glad your Connect Ed is working. Um, it is like, y'all know it's not my favorite. Mr. Laser just sent something. Oh. Um, so is there anything? Poor eighth graders. Yeah, I, uh, I was telling Miss Faust, I was like, I'm so sad we're not going to see you guys and then we're not going to do like your banquet and like all your stuff. Um, uh, it, just made me, it made me really sad. It was, it really bummed me out that we were going to miss so much. Um, my day is good. It's, I get up really early and go to bed really late. And I joked that I do about 15 times the work that I think I did when we were in school and I could just like talk to you and help you with things. Um, so is there any questions as far as plant diversity? Um, I think everybody's kind of read their chapters now. Eighth grade is the only one that doesn't really have a chapter you're reading because you're reviewing and getting ready for a test. Um, but my seventh graders were doing the water cycle and started Earth's water. Um, and we're getting ready to move into a unit where we talk about fish in the oceans after we review the water cycle a little bit more. And I had, I know I had some friends and like some other people with school age kids watching this. this. I know this video is super boring for them and they don't know what's happening. I haven't quite got to my like experiments and stuff yet. We're still like troubleshooting. 
um, and trying to answer questions until I can get my tech settled. And then I'll have specific scheduled times for each class. So then I'll be doing experiments and demos on those. I know that these so far are just kind of me chatting with people. Um, so do you guys have any questions on what you're currently doing or anything that you actually need help with at the moment? I don't think you can see them, but Ooh, my dry erase marker. Uh, that's what we do like all day. Like all day, it's like bike riding. <coughs> so sixth grade, um, what you're gonna be doing is answering this question in the next couple of days about um, there are actually plants that grow by not producing seeds. Um, and they don't have any seeds. They um, reproduce in different ways. Eighth grade, you're gonna be moving on to waves, which includes electrical waves, sound waves, and light waves. And you're going to be doing some demos and some more outside, pretty much everybody. Because with science, um, it's easy for me to give you more hands-on stuff to do, just like we did in class, than it is for me to just have you reading and doing like textbook work with it. Because you'll, you can visually see then what I'm talking about and what I'm wanting you to be able to demo. Um, so I know this first couple weeks while we were figuring stuff out, um, <laughs> So tomato plants have seeds. Tomatoes have seeds. It is a fruit, but they have seeds. There's some types of plants that are seedless. I actually have, can you see them? My little baby plants. I have a whole bunch of, um, I have a big garden. Once it actually starts, like it's an in the ground tilled, like farmed garden in my backyard. So once that gets a little bit bigger and some of the plants get to be closer to the height that I want them to be, I'll take you guys and show you that. Um, so is there anything you guys need? Cause what I'm, I mean, I had one question that actually like seemed like it was something you needed an answer on, but it seems like you guys are doing okay. I am going to try zoom where you guys can see your class and actually talk to your classmates at some point. I just haven't quite got there yet because I put YouTube on my stuff. So I'm just trying to stick consistently with what I had said. Bananas do have seeds. They're just really, really, really tiny. Um, I make smoothies a lot. And I make smoothies a lot and they end up in the smoothie like you can touch them. Um, so the, the ones that you eat, um, without going into like way too much detail about it, Kayla, um, the bananas that we eat, like that we consume, if you got a wild banana, they have like a lot of black seeds on them. Um, the ones that we actually buy at a grocery store, like the Chiquita bananas have been specifically bred to not have mature seeds. So they have these like little teeny tiny seeds, but you don't really taste them. And they're usually softer because they're not mature yet. Um, and I believe, um, they have a name. Triplods, triploids, you might want to look that one up. I'm not 100% sure if I said that right or if that's correct. <laughs> um, but there's a, they've been bred so that they don't have that mature seed. So when you bite into the banana, it doesn't have all those seeds. That you get this like creamier, smoother consistency. Hey, Zach, is that Trey and Zach or just Zach? I know Jenna's not on here, but if she was, I got a new color. <laughs> so, just Zach, do you have any questions or need anything before you take a test on Adams on Friday? Is there anything that you're not sure of or need help with? Um, so what's specifically on your quiz, like I can actually even go look at it right now to make sure that I, it's, it is just Adams and just like Adams structures and, um, 
excuse me, I tried to keep it everything that we talked about, just what we said in class. Um, I didn't go over, I didn't do any of the other stuff that we didn't actually discuss in our class. So like it asks you about the charge of the subatomic particles. It asks you um, like, how do you get the number of particles in an atom? Um, it's only 10 questions. It's not very long. And obviously I was telling Mr. Laser, I was like, we can't, no, there's no quarks and antiquarks. Are we going to do them at all? Yes. But are they on that? No. <laughs> um, I told Mr. Laser, obviously I can't tell you don't use a book and don't use your notes because you're at home. So I said, that seems kind of pointless. Today we were supposed to be doing cations and anions. And I actually didn't get to that because I started to worry if I moved past electron levels that people wouldn't get it. Um, because I was like, there's such a good one to do. And everyone was already kind of struggling anyway. Because, so, I didn't color them in. But this one is the one that I keep using a lot. It has three. It's the one that I used in the video today that was on Edmodo. Um, but basically, if it loses an electron, it has positive energy. It's a cation. If it gains an electron, it becomes an anion, and it becomes negative. I didn't put that on there. Um, you just need to know the charges of the particles. And also, how many electrons can be in that first energy level? Wants to know how our test wants to be set up. You mean like how your test is set up? Yeah, Zach too. Um, so never more than two in that first energy level. Brooklyn, I'm not sure I understand the question 100%, but I she is she wanting to know like how the format of the test is? Um, because the way that I did it is there are some fill in the blank, there are some true, false, and there are multiple choice. And there's only 10. Um, so it's really small. It's not going to count as many points as your normal quizzes would because this is totally new. This is more of a way for us to kind of practice and make sure that this works the way that we need it to work and function the way we need it to function. Since I feel like we're going to be doing this, I'm pretty sure I have, like I said earlier, when somebody asked me, we haven't officially extended until May 1st, or if we have, I haven't heard that, but I'm assuming since the school district did that the likelihood of us doing it is probably too. So we're going to be taking a few tests probably that way. But hey, eighth grade, you don't have any FSA. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Maybe. So is there anybody that still needs help with anything? Do we have to make the post for page 324? The post for page 324. Oh, good. <clears throat> I'm not sure what you mean, Grace. Page 324. What's on page 324? Oh, the poster. Um, I said, if, I mean, you're not going to go to the store and buy a poster board. If you can just do something that's on a sheet of paper even, well, this is a whiteboard. Um, but just like a sheet of paper would be sufficient. I'm not looking for some kind of big artistic thing. I just tried to pick some different stuff. So it wasn't, because I know right now you're probably doing a lot of reading and a lot of worksheets and a lot of book assignments. So I was just trying to pick something that was a little bit different than what you have been doing so far. Um, do you have to make, so I think you have to submit that one. Or was it one that I asked you to comment on? Can, I really cannot remember. <laughs> I can't remember. I didn't even remember, first of all, that today was Wednesday until around 11. Um, I know I said, yeah, you have to submit. So I've been trying to get the hang of that. Some of your assignments are going to be submitting. Some of them are going to be like commenting on something. Because I feel like in class, we would have days where I would just like talk and you would take some notes and then we would just talk about something. And I feel like that that's the best way to replicate that in an online setting um, is that everybody's kind of contributing 
there's a lot of people still missing that haven't been commenting on anything. Um, so when I, I'm entering those grades into focus on Friday because we're supposed to do attendance too. Um, it's going to be interesting when they go and look and see that they haven't commented on everything. Cause like some of them, I think I only have 16 comments on for like 34 kids. Um, so do any of my sixth graders, any of my seventh graders have anything? Seventh graders is, I mean, you're doing the water cycle, which is like one of the easiest things <laughs> to teach. We're not turning on the hose right now. No. My son is trying to um, spray down our tractor with a hose. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'm really glad that not very many of you seem to have a ton of questions. I guess I'm hoping that means that it's okay and that everything's working out all right. Um, so I'll just keep talking for a few minutes before I just cut everybody off. Oh, Kaylin, she's not on here, but Kaylin, I got your message. Um, so what you guys had today, the video, the question was, how is an electron's energy level related to the position of the atom? This is fourth and fifth period, my eighth grade. Your question you need to go on and answer today is how is an electron's energy level related to the position of the atom, to its position in the atom? Sixth grade, I don't believe I posted a question for you today. I didn't. You're said to read something and then like this post if you read it. And it was a picture of a sunset on Amria the day before they closed the beaches. Um, and then seventh grade, your question today was a water cycle question. And it was, what would happen if all the evaporation in the water cycle stopped? And to explain your answer, and then the two main factors of the water cycle with a picture of my fish, my husband fishing by beam point. Um, <clears throat> so if you haven't answered those questions, please go on and do so. I know you guys are texting and talking to each other. Um, so just like check on your friends and make sure that they're doing it too, because we have a bunch that aren't submitting things for me. And I've been making a list, but if you've been doing things for other classes, we weren't really reaching out to you except for individually. So I've sent some emails home. Turn the hose off. I sent some emails. Turn the hose off. <laughs> I sent some emails to some of you that haven't replied to anything just to double check and make sure that you were like still on and like doing what you needed to do or like weren't having tech issues. Um, but yeah, so I've been on for 33 minutes and I feel like I'm not getting any more questions. So if you're good, I'm probably going to log off because I feel like I hate first. I'm all I ever think is like, man, these people are going to watch my YouTube and be like, what is she even talking about? I, as long as they can see our chat, I guess. But <laughs> I told Mr. Lazar, they're just, I'm going to hopefully do one um, eighth grade on electrons a little more specifically tomorrow, but um, I'm just going to post the link to it. You don't have to attend the live. It's probably just going to be a recording. Um, sixth grade, there's probably nothing for you until next week until I do this scavenger hunt of plants for you. And seventh grade, I'm doing a water cycle demonstration video, which will be up probably probably over the weekend because I need some time to do some editing. Okay. Bye. Bye Zach. Bye Grace. Bye Brooklyn and Zeta and Kayla and Kelsey. And I'm trying to think who else's names I said hi to and replied to, but bye guys. I really, we all miss you. All the teachers miss you. We were talking about it yesterday. I hope you guys are staying safe and get outside and get moving. Bye.